Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. know anything concrete about thrift stores. So I have been shopping at thrift stores and buying most of my clothes at thrift stores since I was 12 years old. Um, when I was a little kid, it was because my family didn't have a lot of money, and my mom and I both really liked clothes. And so we would go to the Salvation Army, we would go to yard sales, we would buy all this stuff, and didn't really make me a very popular seventh and eighth grader to be wearing all these thrift store clothes. Um, but by the time I got to high school, when you know grunge rock was like the big trend, um, it was much more about me <laughs> trying to like half-assedly duplicate things I saw in Vogue based on stuff I got at my local Salvation Army. So thrifting is very near and dear to my heart and I just kind of wanted to share a couple things with you and also show you some of the crazy stuff I found just basically based all the pictures that were still on my camera. This is a four score shirt that I found for five dollars in a uh, store very near. I kind of wish Dennis was here so he could see it but that's okay. Um, this is in my office at school. It was 20 bucks. Um, so <laughs> there is a National Association of Retail Professionals. Their acronym is NARTS for some reason. There's no T in professional. Um, there are 25,000 resale, consignment, nonprofit, and for-profit stores in the U.S. That's a $13 billion business. Um, about 16 to 18% of Americans shop at thrift stores, of which I am a proud, proud one of those numbers. And just for a comparison, 21% of Americans shop at regular department stores, and astounding only 19% of Americans shop at apparel stores. Like that just seems insanely low to me. I can't imagine that's right. But anyway, this is the way that this kind of ecosystem works. Um, on the left, the big red thing, you have donations. Like you or I are like, oh, here's a big ugly bag of crap. We're going to drop it off at Goodwill. Um, the thrift organization, whether it's Goodwill or Salvation Army or whatever it is, 80% of that goes to textile recycling. They take the top 20% of it and they put it in the thrift store. People buy it. And then the the thrift store then, whatever isn't sold in the thrift store then goes to the thrift store outlet, which is like amazing. Thrift store outlets are the greatest thing ever. I'll talk about those in a, middle, in a minute. And then whatever doesn't get sold goes to textile recycling. So um, the amount of what we're talking about here is kind of crazy. So the average American adult throws out 68 pounds of clothing per year. Um, and that's 5% of all landfills are just old clothes. Um, so Americans buy 2.5 billion pounds of used clothing per year from these stores. And these textile recycling businesses are super interesting. There's like 2,000 textile recycling companies in the US. They're almost all really small, like family owned. And what they do is they take some of the textiles and they shred them into upholstery or insulation. Um, and then a lot of them end up getting exported overseas. And there's a new book about stuff that talks a little bit more about the global export business, which is something I know nothing about, so I won't go into that. So there's a sort of hierarchy of resale, and I have sampled all of these in, uh, in many ways. At the very top, we have the free stuff, which is clothing swaps, which are really popular right now, especially among my fashion blogger community that some of you may have heard me talk about before. Basically, a bunch of girls, it's always girls, um, show up with a bag full of junk, everything, uh, clothes, it all gets basically like tipped out onto tables and everyone goes absolutely insane. It's like you feel like you're going to be trampled to death by horses wearing platform shoes when, the, when they open everything up. Um, there's also Free Cycle, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. You know, you post on Free Cycle, I have an old futon, somebody comes like immediately and gets it. Dumpster diving, um, getting stuff off curbs. Uh, um, here in New York, the curb stuff is kind of incredible, I must say. Um, Slightly less free, but still very cheap, Craigslist and yard sales. And then we have charity shops, which is stuff like Salvation Army and Goodwill, where the, all the, it's a nonprofit and all the stuff is, all the profits are going to charity. For-profit resale, which is like Value Village and Savers, where they like ostensibly donate like a really small percentage, like 10% to charity, but the rest of it just goes to them. And then at the very highest end, we have consignment shops, which is like Tokyo 7 in the East Village, where you can buy, you know, your very own used Chanel jacket for $500 if you should want to. All right, here's a couple of myths about thrift stores. This, I really, really wish I'd bought this. It's kind of amazing. Um, the first myth about thrift stores is that they provide clothing for low-income people. This is not actually true. Um, I mean, it, obviously, it is true that a lot of people shop at thrifts because they're cheaper, but the point of the thrift is not 
to provide low income clothing for low income people. It's to sell clothing in whatever the market will bear so that they can then take that money and use it for whatever their charitable fund is. So if you go to a Goodwill in a really nice area, like the Goodwill here in on um, 8th Street and 6th Ave, um, sweaters are $20. Whereas if you go to a Goodwill in like Wichita, sweaters are like probably like $3.99, $4.99. So they're, they're very variable. The second myth is that you're gonna find a ton of treasures when you walk into a thrift store. You're gonna walk in, you're gonna see a fabulous Pucci shift from the 60s, and no, oh, it's gonna be a dollar. That is not true. I would say you could, subs you could take about one hour per good score at a thrift store. Um, and in my third, in 20 years of thrifting, that's what I would, 25 years of thrifting, that's probably what I would say is about right. Um, most of what you see in thrift stores now is from Old Navy and, Tar Old Navy and Target. Um, old, Target especially, Morona and Massimo, those are the Target brands. Third is that they're dirty, gross, and full of bed bugs. I do not think that is true. I'm just saying. <laughs> I do not find them dirty, gross, and full of bed bugs. I've never had bed bugs. And the final thing is, are they full of hipsters? They generally are not full of hipsters either. They're usually just regular people. A lot of times people with kids. All right, a few hot tips for thrifting. This is one of my like all-time favorites. Yeah, this is a gift from one of my thrifting friends. Um, first is to have a lot of patience. You can't go into a thrift store and say, I need a new coat. You have to go into a thrift store and say, what wonderful thing will the universe reveal to me today? And it might be something that is totally out of season, it is totally ridiculous, that you didn't even know you wanted, that you know your partner is gonna be pissed because you come home with it and you put it on the table and you're like, look at this wonderful thing. And they're like, really, <laughs> really? Um, also, you have to go through all the sizes. You have to ignore numbers. One of the things that thrifts teach you is that clothing sizes are total crap and that they've changed dramatically in 25 years. Um, when I was looking on the Nort's website, they were like, we recommend wearing a leotard so you can try on clothes in the aisles. And that's, you know, that's not bad advice. Um, <laughs> and finally, the Salvation Army is anti-gay, so don't shop there. They are very rapidly anti-gay, so don't give them your hard-earned thrift money. Here's some thrifts in the area. Oh, that, that's not actually moving anything. Here's some thrifts in the area. I can give you guys a list of these from the high-end stuff, which is like the Chanel, for-profit resale, Buffalo Exchange, cheap vintage, cheap non-vintage, and very cheap vintage, which is this Goodwill outlet store, which is sick. It's got these giant blue dumpsters full of all the stuff from all the other Goodwills in the entire city, and it's a dollar a pound. It is amazing. All right, and then a couple last things. Um, this is a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> And I can, um, I can actually give you this information. I know I'm way over my time. This is a shirt that I saw in Florida. My mom lives in the thrift store capital of the US. I think she specifically moved there because of that. This is a clock. Um, this is an entire wall of Star Trek The Next Generation videos. And this is an owl. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alice.